Florida State's Hamilton gets $225,000 bonus for win over Murray State. Florida State's in an NCAA men's basketball tournament second round game Saturday all deprive fans of a nice underdog story and another opportunity to see the Racers star guard, G.A. Morant. But it gave Seminoles coach Leonard Hamilton another sizable bonus and kept him in contention for a lot more. Sunday's outcome alone meant $225,000 for Hamilton, who has one of college sports' most lucrative incentive plans. He's now at dollar. If the fourth-seeded Seminoles were to find their way to the national championship, he would add dollar 1.375 million more U, and he still would be well short of achieving the maximum amount of bonus money that was available to him when the season began. That amount is dollar 2.675 million, which can come from 17 possible achievements and gives Hamilton ample opportunity to supplement his basic compensation from the school of dollar 2.25 million. That's a handsome amount by any measure, but it made him 48th in USA Today's latest survey of men's basketball coaches pay, which covered all of the schools in the Power 5 conferences and any non-Power 5 school that had appeared in three of the previous five NCAA tournaments U84 schools, in all. Hamilton's maximum possible bonus total for the season is $690,000 more than the amount that can be gained by the next most highly incentivized coach, Arizona State's Bobby Hurley. Last season, when Florida State advanced to the NCAA Tournament Round of 8, Hamilton picked up $890,000 in bonuses. This season, in addition to Sunday's win, Hamilton has reached $675,000 by getting $50,000 for having at least 20 wins overall. $50,000 for having at least 12 wins in Atlantic Coast Conference play. $200,000 for an at-large bid to the NCAA Tournament. $50,000 for NCAA Tournament appearances in consecutive seasons. $50,000 for being a top 4 seed in the NCAA Tournament. $50,000 for advancing to the round of 32. If the Seminoles win their round of 16 game, Hamilton will get another $250,000. He will get additional, contributing Bernie Kelman. This article originally appeared on USA Today.